This year, the EU's highest human rights award is shared collectively. Accepting the Sakharov Prize on behalf of Belarus's democratic opposition at a ceremony in EU Parliament, Svetlana Tikhonovskaya paid homage to her fellow activists and sounded an optimistic note about her country's future. We are bound to win, and we will win. A simple wish to walk freely in the streets of our cities and towns keeps us going. Desire to celebrate holidays with our families keeps us going. Dream of a better future for Belarus keeps us going. Sikunuskaya helped found Belarus's Coordination Council back in August, ten days after she was defeated in a presidential election widely considered to be neither free nor fair, and against the backdrop of what became the largest anti-government protests in Belarusian history. Aligning itself with demonstrators, the council has called for a democratic transition of power, a demand rebuffed by President Alexander Lukashenko, who's been in office for more than 20 years and maintains that he won the election. The Belarusian opposition has at times faced violent state repression, with tens of thousands arrested and more than a thousand injured after months of protest. Most of the leaders of the Coordination Council have been arrested themselves or sought shelter abroad, including Tikhonovskaya, who now lives in Lithuania. The Council has pushed the EU to ramp up pressure against Lukashenko and his allies, a strategy that's proven successful, at least in part. On Wednesday, EU diplomats said Brussels would soon extend its third round of sanctions against Belarus.